A room full of third graders buzzes with ideas and excitement. Their objective? We have to um, try to build a car and make sure it rolls without falling apart. The class is not in its regular room. It's in Ogden Elementary School's new maker space. It's a place where you like build different stuff. You have a challenge and you have to try to solve the problem. In Ogden's maker space, students have access to materials for hands-on learning projects. Teachers can either come up with their own assignments or use prepared curriculum. The teacher is, says what we're going to build and then he's like, three, two, one, go. Students learn problem solving and teamwork in a space where failure is okay. We sit at a table and we like suggest ideas and, we, and then we do it and then if it, if, it, if it fails then we try another idea. That concept is also key at Skyview High School, which just opened its own makerspace. Really the idea behind a makerspace is about students having the opportunity to try new things without the worry of failure. We actually embrace failure here in the makerspace. That's because failure leads to problem solving, new ideas, and deeper understanding. It's really important for students to be able to get their hands on something physical and manipulate things and really understand how it works, not just press a button and it just automatically works. Skyview's makerspace is in its library and was filled with gear partially paid for by a grant. That includes a 3D printer, computers with coding software, art supplies, and a sewing machine. I like the variety of things that we have here. It accommodates a whole lot of people, like whether you want to learn um, programming or play with um, art supplies to create something or um, you know, print something on the 3D printer, you have all those options. Like the name says, makerspaces are all about creating things, like lifelong learners. Inside Vancouver Public Schools, I'm Amanda Richter.